Hello and welcome to the FL Studio video tutorial for audio recording. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to set up FL Studio to receive audio, how to record audio into your project, and how to apply some basic processing to your recordings. Recording audio into FL Studio is easy and intuitive, so let's get started. To begin, you should have FL Studio correctly set up to record audio. To access the options for audio recording, click Options and Audio Settings. In the output panel, there is a menu with all the available devices on your system. FL Studio supports the ASIO standard, and you should select the ASIO driver for your sound card to record into FL Studio. If you don't have an ASIO compatible sound card, don't worry, as you can record using the built in FL Studio Wave Editor. Of course, you should also set up your external recording source, whether it's a turntable, microphone, or any other audio source, so that it's feeding the correct input at a good level. Once your FL Studio software is correctly set up to record audio, the next thing that you'll need to do is to set up a project that you'll record into. FL Studio automatically loads a blank project when you start it up but we'll open a pre-existing project to give ourselves a head start. Okay, now this track sounds great. Let's say you want to replace a track or add a new track of audio to the project. First of all, we need to prepare the track, or tracks, that we'll record to, which we'll do in the mixture window. Press the disk icon on the routing panel. In the Browse dialog that opens, select the name and location for the WAV file to be recorded. The disk icon turns orange to show that the track is ready to be recorded. Next, we need to set up our recording options. Do this in the Mixer pop-up menu. In the Disk Recording sub-menu, you should check 32-bit float and point recording if you wish to record a 32-bit WAV file. While we're here, we can check the Auto Create Audio Clip function to insert the resulting audio clip in the playlist audio track after recording is completed. Now we have finished setting up the audio recording options and we're ready to go. In the Transport panel, enable the Record button. And when you're ready to record, press Play. And when you want to end the recording, press Stop. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, now that we have finished recording, let's play it back. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, now we have successfully recorded an audio file and included it as a new part in our project. It's as simple as that. Now you can treat this audio in the same way as any other sample you have loaded in your project. You can adjust levels and panning. You can also apply processing such as sends and insert effects by using the mixture window. The possibilities are endless. Well, that's about it. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. We hope you have a good feel for all the audio features in FL Studio. Of course, there isn't time in a short video to cover all the possible options. FL Studio comes with excellent online documentation, which you can use alongside this tutorial to answer more detailed questions as your knowledge of the program increases. Thanks for your attention and have fun with FL Studio.